Hello everyone, my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about keyword match types. So generally when you are running your Google ads, you must have noticed that your keywords are generating traffic, but sometimes uh, you are getting a bunch of clicks for random keywords. You might be getting a low quality traffic or even if you're getting traffic, uh, your potential you know visitors might not be converting or it can be anywhere from low click through rate to uh, basically uh, not being able to maximize your uh, campaign return on investment. So um, keyword is one of the most important aspect of Google Ads and um, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how you can change your keyword strategy uh, by using different keyword match types. So uh, let's get straight into things. Generally, there are three keyword types. Uh, the first one is broad match. Um, the second one is phrase match. And then the third one is exact match. Um, but there is also something called as broad match modified which sits somewhere in between broad and phrase match. Um, and finally, we will be also talking about negative keywords uh, that will help you to streamline the quality of your traffic um, and basically improve your click-through rate and make sure that uh, you get the maximum out of your ads budget. Um, so when you are doing your keyword research and when you add queries like, um, you know, for example, red purses, um, these are basically broad, ma broad match uh, keywords that you're adding because um, it's just a phrase and um, Google will prompt ads on all the relevant query and the vari variation of your initial keyword. So for example, uh, if you added a keyword like red purses, uh, then Google will, you know, prompt your ad on uh, on queries like red bags, colorful purses. So um, when when someone is searching for um, a term that is somewhat related to your initial keyword, then Google will go ahead and you know show your ad. Now you you can use broad match when you are starting out a new campaign uh, and you really don't know like what kind of traffic you might expect. Um, and it's like basically casting a wide net um, and when you are getting to know your traffic and uh, when you start analyzing your search terms report um, then you will actually get to know uh, how well qualified your traffic is and if they are relevant to your website or your business so to, uh, to summarize a broad match is uh, basically your keyword that you add in without any additional parameters um, and to simplify these are just phrases uh, and actual queries that you think people might search for um, and Google will show an ad for any variations of your initial keyword. Um, moving on uh, we have broad match modifier uh, so this strategy helps to control when your ad can appear for closely related keywords um, and by using a broad match modifier uh, you are able to increase your click-through rate uh, because you are able to target your audience more effectively uh, and to to add a broad match modifier all you need to do is add a plus symbol uh, preceding the word um, or the words that you want to appear in your uh, you know query so say for example you want to have you want to have shoes in in the query uh, and you want to make sure that uh, your ad needs to be triggered only when the query has shoes in it so to do that just add plus before the keyword um, so uh, an example can be formal plus shoes so your ad will be triggered on evening shoes black dress shoes or it can be buy formal shoes, it can be cheap formal shoes, or uh, it can be any other, you know, query, but Google will make sure that 
um, the query has shoes in the search uh, search term so that's how you know you can make sure that you you are refining your uh, keyword and the traffic uh, by adding a broad match modified keyword the next type is a phrase match and um, the way you add a phrase match is to add your keyword in double quotes um, and this is again uh, you are getting one step closer in terms of narrowing your keyword um, you know keyword strategy or you can say your your audience searches um, because you you're making sure that your ad will appear only when people search for your exact phrase so um, as I mentioned to do that you need to add your keyword in double quotes so this will ensure that um, the person or the user uh, who is searching for um, a query has those two keywords um, so for example if you added tennis shoes in double quotes then your ads will be triggered on red leather tennis shoes buy tennis shoes on sale or red tennis shoes um, I made a spelling mistake over here uh, anyways um, so as you can see um, the query needs to have tennis shoes in it but the ad won't be triggered on searches for uh, shoes for tennis or tennis sneaker sneaker laces because as you can see these two search terms does not have um, you know tennis shoes in it um, and if there is a word in between or if there is a word um, or if there's a word missing then your ad won't be triggered phrase match make sure that um, those two words are in the exact order so the order of words is important when it comes to phrase match but uh, it's okay to have words before or after the phrase match so that's how you know you are getting one step closer in terms of um, narrowing down your searches um, and um, in terms of variance like um, let's say you know someone makes a spelling mistake or someone uses a singular version or plural version of the word or if there's a stemming of the of the keyword or abbreviation or accents these all will trigger an ad and it's applicable for phrase and exact match so that's just something to keep in mind because you don't have to add all the misspellings or singular and plural version of your keyword. Google will automatically take care of you know misspelling and plural forms, stemmings and abbreviations and accent. So just add the, um, the keyword whether it's a phrase match or an exact match keyword and Google will take care of showing your ad for all the different variant, variants. Moving on, we have exact match. Now this is like the final level where you are super targeted in terms of uh, what you want your users to search. Um, and the way you do that is uh, you add your keyword in square brackets. So what you're doing is you're showing your ad to customers who are searching for your exact keyword or close variant of your exact keyword. Um, and um, for example, for the keyword shoes for men, your ad will be shown on searches like shoes men, men shoes, men shoe, shoes for a man, and so on. Um, so uh, with an exact match, you know, you are, you're again, you're, you're at the final level or you're like super narrow in terms of uh, what kind of traffic you want. Uh, and you're basically casting a very small net and making sure that uh, you're getting only highly qualified and highly uh, you know relevant traffic now one thing to keep in mind uh, if you are using an exact match and if very few people are searching for those keywords then uh, your ad won't be triggered because there is just not enough traffic or there's not just just not enough search volume for that um, so I would recommend using a tool like um, Google Keyword Planner or SEMrush uh, or um, you know Uber Suggest and um, and just try to understand like what's the search volume for uh, your keyword 
you can start out with broad match uh, when you are initially starting out the campaign um, and then based on your search terms report you can go one step down and you can start using broad match modifier and then you know if you're st if you still feel that you know you can get even more relevant and targeted then you can go you know go and trigger down and you can make sure that um, you get more strict in terms of the searches now um, finally I want to mention uh, about negative match um, I can't stress enough how important it is to add negative keywords because as I mentioned earlier no matter how well you do your keyword research or how well you do your you know addition of keywords and setting up the campaign there will always be a situation where um, you will always get like uh, wasteful traffic or bad keyword searches and basically you will get link clicks that will waste your money so with a negative keyword you are ensuring that your ad is not getting triggered for keywords that you don't want in your campaign so to do that all you have to do is uh, you add minus and then the keyword so in this case I, I've given an example of tennis shoe minus color so um, ads will not match for searches like tennis shoe color because this search term has color in it again shoe color um, ad won't be displayed by blue tennis shoe color because it has color in it so basically you are making sure that uh, you know your ads should not be dis displayed uh, for certain keywords and uh, to do that you just add minus in the search term or in the keyword um, now I want to show you uh, practically how to add a negative keyword um, but before I do that uh, I have a nice little chart that will help you um, you can print out this chart or um, I'll try to create a PDF out of it out of it and link in the description so that you can you know quickly download the PDF um, and keep it handy uh, this is basically um, a quick hack of how you can refine your keyword strategy um, basically you start out with this you know wider net or the broad match where you you just add your keyword tennis shoes um, and this will show you an example of on, of what type of searches will trigger the ad then you go one step down and you add a broad match modifier by adding a plus um, and that way you are ensuring that tennis is in the ad the word tennis is in the ad then you go even more strict and you add a phrase match by double quotes so you're making sure that both the words are present in the search term and finally you have exact match where you add by brackets um, and that's how you know you can refine your keyword strategy and make sure that you only get qualified traffic um, so before um, I end this presentation I want to show you how to add keywords so when you are setting up a new campaign um, I'm gonna take my search campaign um, click on campaigns and then if you already have a campaign running go to the keywords tab and then here is where you can add new keywords so once you click the plus symbol select the ad group and let's say I wanna add a broad match modifier so I'm adding digital plus marketing so uh, I'm making sure that marketing is present in all the searches um, and then I'm gonna add a phrase match so I'm gonna say so this is a another keyword that I'm adding um, this is a phrase match and then finally I add an exact match keyword that says um, SEO tools so I hit save and then look at that um, that's how you know you can add keywords um, and make sure that you know you you get uh, traffic that is relevant to you and what you can do is um, when you're right now my campaign is paused but after some time when your keyword is eligible it will actually show you if it's eligible or ineligible um, and based on the traffic and the quality score and everything uh, but then after a couple of days you will be also 
able to track the number of impressions uh, those keywords are getting and their click-through rate and cost per click and all other metrics um, so I think it's important to analyze how well those individual keywords are performing um, based on um, your overall ad quality score and um, to add a negative keyword you can click on this tab and just hit the plus icon and start adding you know negative keyword uh, the best part is you can actually add negative keywords um, and create a new list uh, and save that list so that next time when you run a campaign you can simply use an existing list for your uh, for your new campaign so it's it's actually useful because uh, let's say you run ads for a specific industry or domain like you know like an like an industry like pharmaceuticals and you're uh, actually that's a bad example um, I think uh, let's say you are running Google Ads for um, SEO agency then uh, you can start building your negative keyword list list um, and that way you know you can just simply use that list and keep on building and you can also add negative keywords at a campaign level or ad group level so that's another tip for you guys um, and finally I want to show you um, search terms so if you click on the search terms tab um, you can actually analyze all the keywords that triggered your ad and people who clicked on your ad um, and that's very important because you will get to know what exactly people searched for and came to your website uh, and that is how you can analyze if certain keywords needs to be deleted or needs to be added to negative keyword or if you have to increase your bid so that's it guys for keyword match types and how to add negative keywords and analyze search terms I hope this information you know helps you a lot uh, in terms of improving your Google Ads campaign if you have any questions let me know in the comment section any likes shares and comments is appreciated and I will see you next time